You're watching Mental Health with Marcy, and I'm Marcy. In today's video, we are going to talk about sexuality labels and why I hate them. And so it's not so black and white as that, but I do. <laughs> so let's talk about it. Uh, first of all, just to get this out of the way, why did I need to wear <clears throat> a fully sequined jacket with my beautiful matching flower and a sequined uh, little stuffy? Uh, no reason. I just had this. I bought it for a concert and I never wore it again. So we're going to wear it. And I spent five hours um, putting little hand placing little sequins on this little flower. So at least we'll get two uses out of it. But I digress. So let's talk about sexuality labels. And so by that, I'm talking about specifically, you know, labels of sexual orientation, such as straight, bisexual, pansexual, asexual, etc. And so that's what we're talking about today when I'm talking about sexuality labels. And the most, I would say the biggest reason why I hate them is there just seems to be this box that you're put in if you choose one or the other. I know now, uh, nowadays, you know, we can choose more than one label. You don't have to choose any label, but, and there's so many to choose from, right? Where, whereas I would say it's not, as, wasn't as common in the past where there was as many labels to choose from, but still it just feels so constricting, I guess, restricting, constricting. Just I feel like you're like in this little box and like this label is going to completely define you. I just feel like there's so much more shades of gray and spectrum that a label just doesn't, doesn't do it justice. I can see where sometimes it's helpful to have a label just because that's what we like as humans to put ourselves into categories. We like to make everything easy in our little boxes. And so sometimes when we find a label that fits, that resonates us with us, that's where we can uh, feel a part of a community, for example, part of the LGBT plus community. And so that can be an experience where an, a, a label is empowering. It really helps us express, you know, who we are and how we're feeling. Um, and I think that's great, you know, if that works for you, if you find a label that really fits you and it works and you like it, great, great for you. <laughs> That's fine. No, um, no shade against anyone who likes labels and who has found one that really fits them. I would say just for me personally, it's been a little bit of a struggle trying to figure out really what is the right label for me because I feel like there's just nothing is quite right, I guess, is what is what I've come to realize. And I do, I've also come to realize that I don't have to put a label on myself and, you know, no one else has to put a label on me, but it's still just been kind of a journey as I've kind of gone through, I don't know what I'll call it, my sexual awakening, we'll call it, um, you know, and figuring out my sexuality, I've really gone through a number of labels and haven't quite, quite put my finger on which one does fit me. And again, I, I may not ever, which is fine. Um, but yeah, just for example, like the label, like bisexual, it just has a connotation that, you know, there's only like men and women. And so it just excludes non-binary people. And then also it just, implies it's not the case always but it implies that there's you know equal attraction um to both men and women and so it's just it just doesn't feel quite right for me the same as like pansexual which has to do with um just being attracted to people regardless of their gender which is also not like what i feel like i am i don't feel like i just like people just because they're people that doesn't like it just doesn't feel right to me so like none of those feel right and so it's one of those things where again it's all a journey of figuring it out uh, over time and also 
really being able to express yourself in a way that wasn't possible um, in the past because I do feel quite blessed and quite lucky that I'm able to really share about this topic even at all on the internet um, and really have so much more progress and less in stigma than there was before um, in terms of the LGBT community and so I you know I'm I'm grateful for for the time that I'm in of course there's still stigma there's still discrimination still lots of you know even laws out there today that are not inclusive of the LGBT community but it's just something that I haven't figured it out yet it's just the labels just don't seem to quite fit and then I'm like trying like I was like hmm, maybe it's just lesbian but again it feels like really exclusive to like trans and non-binary people and so I know that doesn't have to be right like you can just like whoever you like and date whoever you want to date regardless of your label that you choose to identify as it's just for me it's just nothing has kind of quite fit it's not quite resonated with me and so that's why I'm still kind of on this journey to figure out you know do I need a label you know is this something that I really need for myself to feel you know an identity a sense of identity or is it something that I feel like society is putting on me that I need to figure out what I am so society can put me in a box. And so for now, I think it's a little bit of both. I think, I think I definitely am trying to kind of search for my own identity just to feel like sometimes it just feels like it's like you're a part of something and you're just not alone if you can associate yourself with other groups of people. So that's why I think the benefit of labeling is, is that you can really feel a part of that community. And I just, I don't know, I don't know why I haven't, um, haven't found the right one for me yet. But in general, um, I would say I probably would identify, if I'm going to pick a label, I would identify like as queer, I guess, LGBT of some sort. Maybe, maybe, I don't know, like, see again, I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to call myself. I would say it's just, it's been a struggle to figure out clearly, because I can't even articulate it um, on the screen. I haven't like publicly talked about, you know, my sexuality at all. So this is definitely new for me as is, I think, empowering in a way to really be able to share Part of myself that I previously uh, didn't really feel like I could share, you know, due to societal stigma, upbringing, etc. Maybe we'll talk about that in another video. Um, but yeah, I think, I don't know, I think there's, it's a little bit of myself and my own expectations of myself and then also society's expectations that have really um, shaped this kind of inability for me to choose and really truly identify with the label. And that's something where, again, maybe I just need more time, more confidence, more uh, just experience um, in the space just to really feel confident um, putting a little, a little label on myself. So right now, uh, I don't know. I don't really have a flag. That's why. So I was like, I really want to buy like a pride flag. But I was like, I don't know which one to buy. So I just got this flower, which I freaking love because I love flowers. Exhibit A. Um, and I just, I needed it in my life. So that's why I bought it. Um, but that was like, it's kind of quintessential. The idea that I literally, I was like, I don't know what flag to pick. Which is fine, because like I don't have to have a flag. It doesn't matter. I can choose all of the flags. I can choose no flag. Like I can just have the generic rainbow flag. Like it doesn't matter. I don't have to have any flag. It doesn't I know that it doesn't matter, but it still just feels like, oh, I need to like I don't want to say pick a side, because that sounds so bad, but I don't know if that's if anyone maybe I'll do a whole other video about it about anyone who's bisexual or just yeah, like you don't fit into either category somehow you're not 
you're not straight enough, but you're not gay enough. And so anyway, but again, don't know if that label applies to me. So anyway, this is a long way of me rambling and saying that I hope that, you know, no matter where you are in your sexual label spectrum, you choose to identify as a sexual orientation. If you choose not to, just know that you're not alone and that, you know, there's other people out there who are struggling to figure it out and that's okay. You know, we don't have to put ourselves in boxes. We don't have to label ourselves and um, we can choose to do whatever the heck we want. So that's my opinion anyway. And um, yeah, I'll probably in the future, maybe do some more uh, videos just talking about kind of how mental health uh, really goes into being a part of the LGBT community because it totally does. Um, I know it's a little bit of a different kind of video, but if you have any ideas or suggestions for other videos, um, let me know in the comments down below. So thank you so much for watching and stay well, my friends.